guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Effects Giving Crew. Welcome to this week's Twin Flame reading. So this is going to be reading for um, June the 9th until the 16th. I'm using Romance Angels Oracle cards and I think I will do a crossroads. Okay, let me pull the cards first. So I mix them up? Um, yeah, I think I will. So I'll just use three of the Romance Angels for now. And the bottom of the deck as well. And what else? So I have, um, call it Baron Reed, Enchanted Map. So this will be the heart space. Whoops. Um, the relationship. The challenge. And the advice. Hopefully you guys can see those. Okay, so let's begin with the bottom of the deck. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gestures. So in last week's Twin Flame reading, this um, was a strong energy that was coming from the masculine side. So now it's a shared energy between both aspects. So, um, yeah, it's like... You know, when you feel love um, and you express that love, then it'll come back to you. But if you're closed off, um, you know, you'll forever be alone. You need to be able to open yourself up and, and feel emotions. <clears throat> okay, let's begin with the masculine side. So, uh, or sorry, the feminine side. Um, so this is how... She feels about herself, retreat, it's time to disconnect from the world. So this card is very similar to, uh, you know, the honeymoon card. Um, so this is, you know, people from the external world are giving you advice um, and their opinions. Uh, and so there's this desire for the two of you to get away together, to be alone, to deepen your bond with one another. The masculine side, new love, a new person has stirred romantic feelings. So this is how he feels about himself. Okay. So, um, to me, this is a very similar to the ace of cups. You know, there's this newness, this, um, ability to feel love and express love. So this could be, um, a renewal of, um, loving um, feelings for the feminine or it could be um, literally a new person. But again, this is the position of how he feels about himself. So, you know, this could all be about self-love. Um, let me just have a quick look here. Okay, so, so they basically, 
um, there's an introduction of someone new or, you know, like I said before, it's a renewal of uh, a connection. Um, and you want to know if it's safe to explore this connection. So what th this card is saying is that, yes, the feelings are reciprocated. You're both feeling this connection and it is safe to love. It's safe to open up. So how does the feminine feel about herself? Trust. The situation is calling you to be, to have faith. Um, so she, she's beginning to trust the masculine. She is, you know, starting to trust in divine timing. Um, she's asking, you know, the question, you know, is this my twin flame? Is everything that I'm experiencing real? Um, and basically this card is saying that, you know, trust your gut instincts, your intuition. What is it telling you? Okay, so what does masculine feel about himself? Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance very similar energy of, um, you know, having faith that, you, you know, your, your divine feminine will come towards you. Um, but more so this is talking about positive attitude, you know, the law of attraction, you send out positive vibrations, it'll come back to you. And also this card speaks about self-love. All right. So again, positive vibrations feeling those positive vibrations first feel the love first and then that love will come to you okay so what does the feminine want the mat or yeah want the masculine to know engagement your love life is ascending to higher levels of commitment so what i'm feeling with this is that you know even though things may be strained there may be distance there may be complications um, she's forever committed or perhaps she wants to deepen the bond because that's kind of what I'm seeing with the retreat, the trust, you know, there's this sense of her wanting to open up to, you know, to go to deeper levels, to higher levels. Okay. And what does masculine want the feminine to know? Getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So very similar to express your love. Um, you know, this is having honest, heartfelt conversations. Um, you know, finding mutual connections. Um, and it's all about deepening that bond. Get to know one another. So the masculine wants the feminine to know that he desires to get to know her, to make a connection. Um, to explore each other again. Okay, so the heart space for the feminine, sad embrace. So just like the card shows, it's, you know, heartbreak, it's pain. In the heart space, she's hurting. Um, she feels that she's lost the connection with the masculine or, you know, it's not a very good card to have basically in the heart space. So there is some healing to do. Um, what I'm seeing here is a real desire to connect with the masculine um, and heal. The heart space for the masculine, peaks of joy. So this is a very positive card. Um, he's feeling like things are coming together, that his dreams are coming true. And so he is feeling a lot of excitement, a lot of renewal, a lot of uh, joy coming into his life. And he's celebrating that. So this is in his heart space, very opposite energies. And of course, in the extended version, I'm going to be doing a little bit of reading and of course, pulling three additional cards. So that if you want to purchase that or watch the extended readings, um, you can either go to my website or um, I offer them through Patreon as well. You get three, um, the, the three extended readings weekly times four. So that's for a month plus you, um, you get it earlier than YouTube and also 
you get um, a mid-month reading that is only for Patreons as well. So, um, yeah, or you can purchase it at my website. So, what was I saying? So, this is going to be the challenge for the masculine. Oh, sorry, this is how he views the relationship. So, ride the wave. So, again, a feeling of peaks of joy, of excitement. Um, the masculine feels that he's in the zone, in the vortex, um, as far as the, the relationship is concerned. He feels empowered. Um, he feels that momentum is building. Um, yeah, and he's riding the wave, right? He's allowing the wave to take him where he needs to go. A lot of emotions here. Like, the, these dolphins are obviously immersed in water, right? Um, so, uh, water represents your emotions. So, how does the feminine feel about the ma masculine? The relationship is the gentle gardener. So, she is careful with her thoughts. She knows that her thoughts are seeds of intention that she sends out. So, she's trying to keep her thoughts positive, even though there's a lot of pain a uh, desire to reconnect um, in terms of the relationship. Um, she's nurturing it. Or she's in this nurturing energy. She, she's helping it to grow to, um, you know, there's so much potential there, so much growth. Okay, so this is the challenge for the masculine compass. <clears throat> so the compass talks about your true north. So, you know, this is your inner guidance system as well as divine guidance system. So, you know, as long as you have your inner guidance system pointed towards your truth, then you can never go wrong, right? You all, There will always be light in the darkness. So the challenge, masculine, is to... Um, Find or keep your direction, you know, whenever things happen in your life, um, the challenge is to stay positive, not to allow, you know, the external world to knock you off course. Um, you know, there's this sense of the divine um, helping you, guiding you but perhaps you're not listening. And so the challenge for the feminine is goblins. Yes, of course, that's what I'm seeing here, right? Um, the gentle gardener is all about thoughts, you know, keeping those thoughts positive. And then we got that sad embrace at the heart space. So the challenge is not to listen to those thoughts, to heal any wounds from the past to not be afraid to venture out into you know places that you've never been before so this really talks about old wounds needing to be healed and what is the advice is into the unknown for the masculine so the challenge is you know to keep your compass pointed towards those things that are best for you, um, you know, and using your intuition and all that kind of thing. So the advice is to go into the unknown, to seek those answers, to not be afraid. Um, you may not see where you're going, but trust that, you know, you are being looked after and that everything that's happening is happening for your highest good. All right, that's beautiful. Okay, so the um, advice for the feminine, wow, home, home. This is, this talks about feeling at home in your own skin, feeling comfortable with yourself, living authentic, um, you know, just also creating a, a home um, for your your family, you know what I mean? It's just creating this beautiful environment. So home, the challenge is the goblin forest. The advice is to embrace this, 
this feeling of home, be home, create a home. Okay, so let's see. Let's pull two cards from Myths and Mermaids. I've been watching this cheesy, um, I think it's a Netflix series. It's a TV series. It's called Siren. Um, so I watched a couple minutes of the first episode. I'm like, hey, that looks so familiar. And of course, it's, it's filmed here in BC at uh, Port Moody. So, um, I'm going to pull out the Miss and Mermaids just for this reading. So, what are your final messages, Spirit? Stop for the feminine first, and then the masculine. So, yeah, the, the anyways, the movie was about mermaids, right? And... Um, yeah, the siren song. Okay, so for the feminine first, green mermaid triplets and the masculine sea beasties. So the, the um, green mermaid triplet, this talks about having your friends around you. You know, you're not alone. So if you need to talk or reach out, um, you know, that's something that spirit feels you need to do. <clears throat> okay. Away from the pack, apart from the crowd, strong and sound and honor abound. Independent and proud, just don't forget your sisters waiting in the wings, the strength they bear, support and care. They're here, they're there, they're everywhere. Separation strains but cannot break such strings. Immediately, um, I was thinking about a conversation that I was having with... Um, one of the subs and you know I the way that I see the channel is the masculine I can't separate the two you know so if things are going well in the twin flame connection there's withdrawal there's you know resentment there's you know negative energy then I retreat from the channel and I feel that there's this tug of war and I need to be able to separate the two um, yeah so that's my challenge and to also realize that there's a lot of people out there supporting me um, and not to get discouraged you know when I, I feel like giving up um, there's so many beautiful spirits surrounding me and you know I just want you guys to know I really appreciate you so much I do feel that I'm in a you know a negative vibration um, but you guys keep me positive you know, I feel that my subs are dropping, my views are dropping. So it can be a little scary, you know, like I feel like I'm losing control of the situation. But um, all in all, I got to stay on the positive side and think about the positive things. <clears throat> because you create your own reality, right? Okay, so a sprightly green and black mermaid is flanked on either side by identical mermaid sisters. This inseparable trio is held together by a strong family familial bond, presenting themselves as a united front against the worries of the world. So the message is, you're not alone. There is no need to feel so isolated. You've got your sisters by your side. The world is so much easier to face when you do it hand in hand. And it's not just sisters. Um, I have a lot of beautiful masculines that are supporting me as well. I actually wanted to mention two of them. Um, I have this, you know, small group of enlightened souls that I, I connect with. Um, they're my family. And uh, we like to get together every once in a while and do a group meditation. Um, and we, you know, we experience some pretty crazy stuff we're in a, when we're in a group meditation. We can pick up on each other's energies. We can see the lights that are permeating off of one another, you know, that kind of thing. Um, so I just want to mention two names, Phil Good, who is um, a tarot card reader and astrologist. So I'll put their links below. And also Kevin Scotland, um, him and his new, his buddy um, created a new channel. I think it's Love to Love. So yeah, I just want to mention those two. And um, they're two divine masculine who are really trying to make a difference in the world. 
and I'm very proud of them. Okay, so let me just finish reading here. So you are not alone. There is no need to feel so isolated. <clears throat> Sorry, so isolated. Um, you've got your sisters by your side. The world is so much easier to face when you do it hand in hand. Even when they are, they are not there bodily, know that they are with you in mind and heart. Need an ear to listen, a shoulder to cry on, perhaps a pep talk to cheer you on. You know who to turn to, so don't hesitate to reach out. Very nice. Okay, just one moment. Okay, sorry about that. Um, so C, B, S, D. S. Oh, wow. So eight and nine. Okay. Here in the murky depths we dwell, trapped in darkness like a jail, obscured by she who holds the key, yet does not lift the veil, yet chooses not to lift the veil. Our clandestine existence can, our sh shadows no longer condone, very deep we wait, we sleep, unknowable or just unknown. A strange maiden in a tentacled headdress fixes her sightless eyes straight ahead, unaware of a bizarre creatures surrounding her at the bottom of the deepest sea. So the message is, be aware of deeply buried thoughts and desires. Lately you've felt some unfamiliar strings from thoughts and desires buried deep below the surface. These elements of self may be things you've forgotten and they may be things you have intentionally ignored or unconsciously repressed. However, they are still there, and it is time to acknowledge their existence. These ideas and emotions, perhaps even fears, may be difficult to retrieve or recall, but do not worry. Nothing is impossible, and the more you concentrate on becoming self-aware, the better you become at understanding these hidden pieces of your personality. Okay, so... You know, these hidden thoughts, I'm really getting that sense of into the unknown. This is into the darkness, diving into those places that you're afraid to face. Um, right? So open up and explore those parts of yourself. All right. So I do hope this helps. I'm sending massive love your way. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. All right. Cheers.